Hello everyone. Welcome to JG Chem Master Class. Guys, in today's video, we will learn about selenium dioxide reagent, which is a very good reagent for allylic hydroxylation or oxidation. And if you want to do the oxidation of active methylene and methyl groups, basically for the formation of 1,2 dicarbonyl compounds, we use selenium dioxide. And the reagent is very important not only for MSc, but you can find a question in CSIR net and gate examination as well. So, we will discuss first selenium dioxide. So, basically, we have already seen that it is an important oxidizing agent for oxidation of CH2 and methyl groups to the carbonyl and aldehyde respectively. So, if you have active methylene CH2 group, it will convert into CO group, or if you have methyl group, then it will convert into aldehyde. Active methylene means if you have CH2 or CH3 group alpha to the carbonyl group, then we will see the formation of CO and CHO respectively. It is employed for allylic hydroxylation or allylic oxidation. Then you have a double bond. Addition to double bond, you have CH2 group. Then also it will form the hydroxylation OH or it will convert it into C double bond O. We will see the example of both. First, we will see the oxidation of active CH2 and CH3 group. So, you can notice here this is the first example which is acetaldehyde CH3 CHO. Hydrogen is not mentioned here. Selenium oxide, in the presence of selenium oxide on the alpha to the carbonyl group, alpha carbon which is CH3 group will be converted into a CO. CHO actually, hydrogen is not mentioned here. In both the cases, you can see carbon is being tetravalent. You have only three bond here. The fourth bond is for the hydrogen. So, CH3 is, group is converted into CHO group here. We will see the mechanism. First, you can notice here uh, the Diels-Helder kind of addition that is 4 plus 2 addition. You can notice here this uh, aldehyde group, acid aldehyde. Uh, you can, we will consider one sigma bond here and a double bond oxygen. 4 like uh, it is behaving like a diene and uh, Se double bond O which will behave like a dienophile or 2 ok. So, these two bonds are participating here mm -hmm. you have uh, deal cellular kind of addition. So, 6 member transition state you can notice and it will form uh, this molecule which you can notice here and then we will rearrange this you can notice in the form so that you can show here 2, 3 sigma tropic kind of addition reaction. 2, 3 sigma tropic, you can notice here you have 1, 2, 3 position and here the selenium and oxygen behaving like a 2 position. Okay, so 3, 2, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. Just go ahead with the resonance. Uh, you, you can see the oxygen will be attached to now carbon uh, with the double bond and uh, a selenium oxygen bond is going to break. So, a new bond is going to form and the old bond is going to break simultaneously. So, it is kind of a pericyclic reaction, sigma tropic rearrangement and you get this molecule which on rearrangement you can notice here with a loss of water and selenium you can show the formation of 1,2 dicarbonyl compound. Again, you can notice the migration and this is the mechanism for the formation of dicarbonyl compounds. So, whenever you use selenium oxide, dioxide, you can take the help of this mechanism and justify the formation of dicarbonyl compound. Next, we will see the allylic hydroxylation or oxidation. So, you can notice in the previous case, we were having carbonyl group. Now, instead of that, we are having a double bond here. So, this is called the allylic position or uh, the allylic group. In the presence of SeO2, it is either going to form the SeO, this uh, hydroxyl group, allylic hydroxylation or you can show the allylic oxidation. We will see the mechanism for both. This first step is the same like we have done in the previous 2, 3, uh, this is 4 plus 2 deal cellar type of addition followed by the 2, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. Same way like we have done and it forms the allylic selenic acid. You can notice here. Now, after rearrangement, we can show the loss of water and the selenium which gives you the allylic alcohol. So, the mechanism is quite similar for the active methyl and methylene group. 
you can notice other ways you can show the formation of carbonyl also you can notice we have rearranged this in this form where we are showing the loss of water followed by the formation of carbonyl group so this is this compound is unstable and so followed by water and selenium loss it forms a oxidation of allylic molecule and show you it will give you the allylic carbonyl compound so mechanism is quite similar here to the previous mechanism for the carbonyl compound you can take the help of this mechanism for the formation of allylic hydroxylation or oxidation now we will solve some questions from the past year MSc question papers, you can notice a very first question, briefly explain it with suitable example. Cyclohexene is given to you in the presence of AcO2, so you can consider it the allylic position, two allylic positions are there, it is symmetrical, you can show the hydroxylation of any side. So you can form the allylic hydroxylation, either you can show the allylic oxidation also here and similar mechanism you can draw. Predict the product for the following reaction with suitable mechanism. You can notice here two questions are given. In this case, you have a carbonyl group with that you have active methylene compound. And we know what happened with active methylene in the presence of SCO2. It converts into dicarbonyl compounds. The mechanism will remain the same. You can use the same mechanism like we have drawn earlier. The next is you can notice it is now allylic uh, methyl group. You can notice in the presence of SCO2. We know either allylic hydroxylation, CH2OH, you can show the formation of this and mechanism will remain the same for both as we have done. So, I am not repeating the mechanism here, you can note it down from the previous topic and apply it on this molecule. The third question is, how is the following alpha keto? Alpha keto aldehyde is obtained, illustrate using a suitable reactant and SeO2. So, the product is given to you, you have to draw the reactant and the reagent is given as CO2. So, we know aldehyde, the terminal aldehyde is going to form with, you can take acetone as a reactant where with respect to this carbonyl group, you have two alpha carbons. One of the alpha carbon you can show in the presence of SeO2 which convert into CHO, methyl glyoxal. And the same product is given to you. Mechanism, you can note it down. I have already drawn it. You can apply it on this molecule and prove the formation of the product. So, with the similar kind of uh, mechanisms, and uh, you can, I hope you can solve many more questions related to SEO2 where you have to do the conversion of active methylene, methyl group, or allylic hydroxylation. So, see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.